Top 3 Best Ways of Understanding Religion's Influence on Humanity in 21st Century Hello, dear viewer, let me emphasize that ideas in this video are intended for entertainment only, and not as guide or a full-blown analysis of religion. Also, I do not consider everything mentioned here as infallible and completely correct and provable. So, with that out of the way, let's begin. Idea, number one. Any sufficiently advanced fictional magic system is indistinguishable from religion. Fictional magic system as a religion? It may seem like a strange claim, but I don't think the enviable possibility that it turns out to be completely accurate from time to time should be underestimated, because, if fiction is diligently refined and meticulously enhanced with the intention of presenting it as something other than what it is, many interesting possibilities open up. For example, if one imagines a sci-fi story and decides to intentionally incorporate it into a supposedly personal experience of abduction by aliens, one has the possibility of both success and failure regarding such a presentation. Of course, the consequences and results of such attempts will be varied, but the cunningness of the human mind combined with the skills of verbal and nonverbal interpretation of reality by an individual or a particular group, again, should not be underestimated. The claim in this particular idea may not be often applicable in practice, but from time to time it definitely is. Regarding the near or distant future, I would not be much surprised if this strategy turns out to work much better than it seems at first glance. Finally, from my own experience I conclude that the verbal, narrative and imaginative possibilities of certain literary authors of fiction of all genres, are sometimes so convincing that I can almost smell the religious enthusiasm from those pages, and personally feel religious fascination and the effects of faith and belief. And if it's fiction, why wouldn't I believe it, especially, if it's so wondrous, moralistic and utopian, if I know it is fictitious? Does it diminish the potential for religious worship? Unfortunately, maybe yes, but something says to me, that should not be the case. Oh, well, the future could bring us surprises of all kinds around such intriguing phenomena of the past and present imperfections of human mind. Idea number two. Any sufficiently advanced area of human expertise can make claims that are indistinguishable from truth. What is truth, or what we call such? Throughout history, there have been many definitions of what we call truth defined differently, depending on culture, religion, degrees of our civilization's advancement, and the like. Therefore, in the search for truth, we must ask ourselves, what do we consider to be truth? An assertion of authority, whether it is a scientific expert or a religious guru, maybe both, of course, the possibilities of studying this topic are wide open to anyone who tries to understand that requires a little more commitment than passivity and ignorance. In short, what we consider to be true is seldom self-evident, and often ambiguous to ourselves, and even to others. So let's try to be skeptical from time to time and wonder how many different truths work at the same time, from the positions of opposing parties. The point is that human skill and the ability to express concrete, but also abstract ideas, enable certain individuals to be and act intensely convincing to the limit of what we call truth. So let us keep in mind that the human being can present and verbally express materially non-existent phenomena in multitude of convincing ways. It is therefore not surprising that the cultural achievements of almost every human activity in some way seem true convincing and, at least verbally provable, because each area has specific tools of persuasion, mathematics using numbers, fiction using writer's narrative and stylistic strategies, and religion using theology. Thus, the earlier claim, every sufficiently advanced area of human expertise can make claims that are indistinguishable from truth, or from what we consider to be true. Idea number three. Any sufficiently advanced manipulator of society is indistinguishable from a charismatic leader. This point does not need to be further clarified as it is very obvious. 
Let's just look at the rulers throughout history, Alexander, Caesar, Napoleon, Stalin and others who are better left omitted from mentioning, all very excellent manipulators and, in public reception, charismatic personalities of great performative horizons. Of course, manipulation techniques and strategies can be used for a variety of purposes, political, religious, economic, cultural, and, also quite often, predatorious and destructive. I therefore conclude that the use of the strategy in any desirable effect of variation is always applicable to psychologically unprepared individuals and groups, regardless of the civilization advancements. Of course, the question of whether this or previous strategies will have the desired effect on post-human entities of great existential potentials, such as the upcoming and supervenient artificial intelligences, is not yet known at this time. But, only time will tell. Did you like this video? Yes? No? Maybe so? Whatever the case, let me know in the comments section below and best regards, until, later.